Welcome back. Today we were introducing folders for tables and charts. This feature will help you organize your tables and charts efficiently. So let's not waste any time and dive right in. When you click on Browse all tables, on the left side you'll see new options. If you don't see them, click on this blue arrow and the folders will appear. Similarly, if you don't want to see them, you can click on this arrow and the folders will collapse. The first thing you'll see is the main toolbar. The first button is a plus sign. Here you can create new folders. When you click, you can enter the folder name and then save. If you want to add a subfolder to that folder, simply click on the folder and then again on the plus sign and repeat the process. The next button is the edit folder. You can use this when you want to edit the folder name, if you made a mistake or change your mind. Next to the edit button, there's a button to delete the folder. You can delete a subfolder or the entire folder with all its subfolders. One important thing, deleting a folder won't delete the tables, so you don't need to worry about that. Next to the delete button, there's a button to choose either you want to see subfolders or not. This is very useful if you have a large number of subfolders. The next button is the button where you choose how you want your folders to be sorted. You have four options and can choose whichever suits your best. The last button is the button where you choose what you want to see from the columns in browse tables. You can choose however you decide, but the short code will always be displayed. The next item is the search field. Here you can enter the full or partial name of the folder or subfolder you search for. If it exists, the folder will be italic and bold to make it more visible. If it the search folder's name, only that one will be visible. But if it's a subfolder, the folder it's in will also be displayed. Only the search folder will be more noticeable. If you look below the search field, you can see that we have all tables and unsigned tables at the beginning. Using this, you'll know exactly how much tables you have and which tables aren't assigned to any folder. If you right click on a folder, you can also add subfolder to it, change its name or delete it. Another note. A subfolder can also have subfolders if you need it to. How tables are added to folders? Simple. Hover your mouse here and the dragging icon will appear. Simply click and drag it to the desired folder. If you want more tables, select them and do the same dragging. You can also select all the tables on the page and drag them. When you add a table to a folder, that table will get a category. Tables can have multiple categories. This is useful because when you click on a folder, only the tables in that folder will be displayed. If you want to remove a table from a folder, simply click on the category X and the table will be removed. It's the same process for charts. So we hope this tutorial was helpful. Thank you for your time and see you soon.